six. Today we are doing chapter number five, which is input and output devices. So let's start. Do you know what is input and output device? Basically, input device is a hardware device that sends data to the computer, allowing you to interact with or control it. What um, kind of input devices you can include in it? Let's see some examples. This is a scanner. This is basically a barcode reader or a scanner. You can see this is a QR scanner or a QR reader. This is digital uh, cameras. All these are the inputs keyboards, mouse, mic, your touch screens, your sensors. You can use multi sensors. You can see. Uh, some sensors are just like uh, they can uh, sense the gases, they sense the LED light, they sense the colors, they sense the smell, they sense the distance, like this. Or you can see uh, nowadays we are using interactive whiteboards. These are all the examples of the input devices. Here we have uh, an output device. It is a peripheral that receives data from a computer. Usually for displaying projection or physical reproduction you can see the output devices covered the following examples this is an inkjet printer your uh, basically 2d 3d cutter your laser printers your loud loudspeaker 3d printers or led lcd monitors projectors lcd and dlp and this is basically actuators all these are kind of Example of our output devices. Here are some question answers uh, of our input and output devices. How many types of scanners we use nowadays? Scanners basically we are nowadays using two dimensional, two D or a three D dimensional. What is the two D? Uh, yeah, two dimensional scanners. These type of scanners are the most common form and are generally used uh, to input the hard copy, means a paper documented. The image is converted into an electronic form which can be stored in a computer. A number of stages occur when scanning the documents. And here how it's work. Uh, basically first of all you have to cover uh, is uh, first raise it. Then the document is placed in the glass panel and then you have to cover it to close. What is the next step? A bright uh, light then illuminates the document modern scanners used to a type of Xeon lamp and a procedure, a very bright light, uh, white light for used. And the scanner head moves across the document until the whole page is, uh, has been scanned. An image of our document is produced, which is then sent to the lens using a series of mirrors. The lens basically focuses the uh, document image. Okay, The focus images now fall on the charge couple CCD and which consists of a number of integrated circuits circuits attached into a silicon essentially the ECCD is made up of thousands of light sensitive elements or you can say the pixels each element creates electronic charge uh, electrical charge when uh, the light falls it means that scan, scan the image is, is now turned into electronic form software produces a digital images from the electronic form okay and this is the basically uh, um, uh, you can say that they, these are the decision uh, procedure boxes and uh, they are telling you how, what are the steps uh, how to uh, scan the document what is OCR you have to explain it computer equipped with the optical character recognition OCR software that allows the scanned text from the document to be converted into a text file format you can uh, how you can go explain it this means the scanned images can now be edited and manipulated by them putting into a word processor. If the original document was photographic or image, then scanned image form an image file such as JPG. What is three-dimensional scanner and why we use it? 3D scanners basically solid objects and produce a three-dimensional images. Uh, since solid objects have x, y, and z coordinates, these scanners take images at several points along these three coordinates. A uh, digital image which represents the solid object is formed. The scanned images can be used to, for the computer aided design, uh, CAD, 
CAD you can you can say or more recently sent in 3d printer to produce a work model of these scanned images i already show you uh, the 3d printer in the uh, output devices what is the application of a 2d scanner at airport why we use it 2d scanners are used in airport to read the passports they make use the ocr technology to produce the digital images which represent the passport pages because of the ocr technology with digitized images can be manipulated. These are the eyes, these are the nose, these are the smiles. How much the smile uh, contain? What is the size of eyes, nose, each or this? It? They uh, are storing like this. Okay, in this form, you can uh, make the picture. The computer is in storing the data. Okay, and uh, what is your home task? You have to make the title page of a chapter number 5 and you have to do the worksheet number 18. That's the end of today's lecture. Please uh, listen this uh, properly so you can be able to uh, understand it. Uh, okay, so Allah Hafiz.